In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the Chimera Windows 9X virus. Now, there isn't really any documentation online anywhere describing this virus or what it does, but through some testing and various utilities I've looked at for monitoring purposes, I sort of have an idea of what it does. So, it's kind of intended for Windows 95, from at least what I can glean off of it. But, there isn't a whole lot to see here. It's a notepad infected application. It's 35 kilobytes. As we see from the file version history and everything, it is pretty much the English version of Notepad from Windows 95. So we can have the regular version of Notepad open here and look at the file's contents. And this is basically the Notepad for Windows 95 structure when you look at it, except for the very first line has some modifications like this at trade or crad. And a couple of things, and it also has some stuff at the bottom as well. Again, we see this crad again, and a couple of other additional lines at the bottom. So, this infected version of Notepad, it, the Chimera code is at both the beginning and the end of the file, so that's how it tends to infect, and we will see how this works here shortly. So, what I've done is tried out some other programs, and I found this file checker. And what it does is I specify files that I want it to monitor. Now what I've found with Chimera is it tends to infect executable files and dynamic leak library DLL files in the Windows folder and the Windows system folders primarily. It will infect other applications and you run them in other folders as well but it's a little specific on what it will infect. Again, mainly executables and dynamic link libraries in the Windows and Windows system folders. So I'm going to tell it to go ahead and start checking. Once I get it to start checking correctly. There we go. So what that is doing is it's going to monitor for any file size changes and any date access or date modified changes, which of course will alert us to changing in the files. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up Chimera. As we see, it just opens up a blank notepad document, because again, it's an infected version of notepad. And for my testing, I found that Chimera can work several different ways on infecting and potentially crippling the system. Now, this is file checker because it's checking the files every five seconds that I've specified. Chimera, right off the bat, will trash the system. So if you restart the computer, two things generally will happen. One is that the Windows installation gets damaged in such a way that you get a Windows file protection error or something similar to that. And it blocks both the normal and safe mode ways of booting Windows, so you wouldn't be able to get into Windows at all if Chimera damaged the Windows installation that way. The other method, which tends to be more common, is it damages the Windows IFS MGR or Installable File System Manager VXD driver and what happens with that of course that's a pretty important thing because it handles memory and file management again based on its name and so when it takes that over with an infection it basically doesn't work anymore it tends to crash to a blue screen on startup and then the entire system hangs up before you can proceed any further so here is Notepad, the regular version, and you see it's 33.5 kilobytes, so that's the normal size of Notepad without Chimera's infection. And we can see it hasn't been modified at all, so that means we haven't infected it. Now again, too, it's also entirely possible that Chimera, Chimera might have a timer when it starts infecting. Because at times I've left the system completely alone after running Chimera one time and doing nothing else, and the system crashes to a blue screen and is completely hung up and then can no longer boot. So, Chimera can be a little random. Again, there's no official documentation or write ups out there on exactly how it behaves. Just that I know that it does make the Windows installation damaged where you can't start, and it will infect most of the Windows. MZF 
executables and dynamic link library files. So let's try running some other files, see if we can get something happening. So there's Microsoft Paint. And again, too, it's entirely possible that get, oh, there it is. So there's an infection, there's a change right there. And this is in the Windows System folder. It says that its file size has changed and that it's had a modified date change. So again, it says it's most likely been modified. So that's already one indication of Chimera changing something. But again, it did not infect Microsoft Paint. Try WordPad. Just run some applications, see if we can get some kind of activity here. Oh, see, Rundill 32 exe just got infected when I brought up the date and time properties, and that's a pretty major application to get infected, and that's generally the first one that does when you do stuff because run deal 32 as its name suggests runs the dynamic link library files so it's needed for that so that's got chimera's infection there let's see go back to the windows folder some other things i sometimes see is the auto exec.bat file getting infected which it hasn't but usually it, it infects the autoexec.bat and some other things. See, Notepad. See, we looked at Notepad there opening the autoexec, so it has infected Notepad. So yes, we are st starting to see some infections now. It might have just been delayed doing it initially. So let's go back up to Notepad, and it should be 35 kilobytes now. And it is. It's 35 kilobytes, and it has a modified date of today, which, of course, is Friday the 1st of December. Try doing a refresh. So let's try opening some other Windows apps here, like Calculator. Calculator's had a file size change and date change, so it's been affected with Chimera now. So it looks like Chimera right now is just infecting files one at a time as we're running them. Let's see. It hasn't infected Microsoft Word, but it might have already infected a file it relies on. Let's see. Because I've had... Yes, it has. See, Word can't work right now because it has infected this Microsoft Office 97 dynamic link library file, which is in the Windows directory. So, again, it is infecting dynamic link libraries, and because of that, we can't run Microsoft Office. And as I think you can see, we're getting to the point there where the system is pretty sh well showing changes. We can see the changes that at least file checkers detected. However, I'm sure if I close out file checker and try to run it again, it will not load this time. Yeah, see, file checker can't load because, again, a .ocx file that it relies on has been damaged by Chimera. And so now we can't run file checker anymore. So let's go ahead and try restarting the computer. As I said, one of two things will be apparent here. Either the computer will fail to boot with a Windows file protection error, or it will be able to boot into Windows, but then it will go into a blue screen with the install installable file system manager 
and thus halting and locking up the system entirely and not being able to go any further from there. And that is an indication that autoexec.bat has been infected because it always drops this garbage into autoexec.bat. So Chimera has taken over autoexec.bat as well. Getting into Windows, and we should see it blue screen here, or just lock up entirely. And it's locked up entirely. No caps lock, no control alt delete, no space, no nothing you can't get past here because the installable file system manager is dead. So let's see if we can boot it back into Windows again, see if we can just get that blue screen message to show up. And if it doesn't, well then we'll go into safe mode and we'll show how safe mode is not going to help you either if you try to run a program infected with Chimera. And this video has already gone on for quite a while. And I think the gist of it's already pretty much been figured out. Nope. No blue screen, that's as far as we get. So we're going to go to safe mode. So I'm just going to press escape. Oh, and it restarted. So there you go. Can't even get into safe mode on this, because that's generally what happens. Oops. Because in safe mode, what happens is if you load a program that's infected with Chimera in safe mode, well, safe mode just crashes and the computer reboots. And that's exactly what happened there. I tried to bypass the login screen, pressing escape, and whatever program was loading immediately right after that that's infected with Chimera crashed safe mode and the computer just reboots. So. Even in this case, safe mode, although we can get into Windows, safe mode crashes right away when we try to go past the login screen. So even safe mode is not usable. So we can still get, of course, into DOS mode. So if you're familiar with that, you could still potentially pull all your personal files and everything out because Chimera doesn't seem to touch anything like that. It just infects any kind of program file types, again, executables and dynamic link libraries. So pretty much it just renders the computer unbootable and unusable, but that doesn't mean you still can't recover your files if you know how. See, we still have access here at the login screen, but if I press cancel, let's see. And, yep, whatever, whatever is loading is, is crashing safe mode that has Chimera. So I think we pretty much have the idea of what Chimera does to the system, as I say, it infects it so that you can't boot into Windows because it's damaged various programs and files, whether, of course, in this case, it's safe mode or normal mode, we can see infections in the autoexec.bat file, and, of course, in all the Windows programs and dynamic link libraries that are usable, but again, it doesn't seem to touch any of your personal documents or anything, so you can still recover those, but as you see, that's pretty much what Chimera does to a Windows system. So that's pretty much it for the Win9x Chimera virus.